Hi there. It's Kevin. And Zach. With a booster box opening of the Zendikar Rising. Here at Gunnar Games. We thought we'd actually crack one of these boxes and see what it's all about. I still have not even looked at the spoilers. I have no clue what cards are even I in this don't set. Either. I know there's like a Veraska, that's the only planeswalker, and a Nahiri. Isn't Nahiri? I'm sure Nahiri. No, I thought it was Jace. Jace is 100%. I, and I have Nahiri not a clue. Nahiri and not a clue. Nissa. I, yeah, 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 because those are the three posters that we got. Holy crap. We got posters? Yes, we did. did they oh, ever send us what promos? the heck? Look no, at that. No, no, oh, no. Oh, they sealed so They the... actually put something on there to stop them wow. from getting damaged. So we'll, we'll, we'll use this for last. Um, but it looks like these are the Japanese printers because they have the square ceiling. Yep, yep, and they loose. are loose. So whatever. Um, one of the boxes weren't loose at all. But, oh, for these right. Packs for definitely... so, US. Yes, they were. So how are we doing this, Kevin? I don't know. Maybe Let's just each? open out some fun. Everyone All hates right. our videos anyway. So. I know. Just yell. Yeah, we're disgusting. Too. What? Oh, they're backwards. That's right. So we got to go this way. See what's inside of it. Come on, open up one with know. me. I don't know what's in these. Is there any notable cards? I guess we can kind of slowly go through these. No, that one's no, everyone's good, everyone it? is opening up for these stupid things. That's where yep, all the value is going to be. That's, exactly. Wizards is giving up trying to Just sell a, sets. Yep, I mean. With the actual cards in them. So there's an uncommon. I mean, it's got a kicker on it. It's a 3 3. Um, when it enters the battlefield, um, if it was kicked, return targeted card with kicker ability from the graveyard to your hand. That's actually not bad for an uncommon yeah, to pay two, yeah, and it's five mana for to get a card all. back. That's that's not bad at all. I got a flip card. Why you didn't show the rogue card? What? Cool, oh, like look at there! There the is set. a rogue. I got it excited gives about plus this. One plus zero. I saw this because I blew this in the commander deck. Is I it? actually did look at the commander deck stuff. Boom. Oh, Rosie, plus one, plus zero. And then we've got our alternative land. I mean, these aren't bad. I mean, I mean, when he casts, when whenever you cast an instant sorcery or wizard it's spell, flying, yeah. oh, it gains Yeah, flying. so this I is a flex card. It. It's yeah. going to be a creature. Oh, I got an ooze. I, I, I got an ooze. I mean, when it enters the battlefield, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Um, whenever it attacks, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it for each attacking creature with a 1-1 one, one counter on it. That's kind of cool. And, and just, just, just a rabbit spite and a full art. All we're right, getting. I don't care. We're just going to go straight to rare. And, let's and... let's do it. Let's do it. Ooh. Oh, foil. We get the foil rare first off the bat. Is it Orov Skyclave, Hierophant, and the Glass Pool Mimic? Yeah, and... but what does he have on the back of him? Oh, does this have something on the back? Yes. What does this guy do? Man, this is going to be a long video if I have to read all the cards. Uh, in this battlefield, you have a copy of a creature you control, except it's a shapeshifter rogue in addition to its type. So three Ooh. mana. Oh, it's a three mana copy spell. Yep. Sweet. Oh, that's kind of cool. And it can also be a Island. land. Wow, this might be a sought after card. Who knows? Yeah, that's a pretty good card. That's pretty cool. And what does this guy do? I didn't look at this. Ones. Lifelink. And whenever another cleric you control dies, return uh, target cleric. Oh, so it's a cleric, legendary cleric, too. Return to our cleric card with Lesser Grimmer Macos from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's cool. Ooh. So it's got that enchantment of Ikoria's yeah, that's type way ability. Cool. That's cool. Are we just going to go through the rares? Yeah, I don't know. Might, maybe I mean, fan maybe, through. Maybe, maybe I don't know see, what's even see what there is. Do people even Ooh, care about that look kind at of that stuff? Island. I don't know, but we've got a vampire cleric, though. How cool is he? If I can get everything in center. Kicker 3, Menace, Lifelink. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, return target creature card from the graveyard to the battlefield. So it's just a child knight. With yeah, that, that's not bad. And then a 1 1 counter and land, and nothing too crazy. But All right. I guess we got to see how many showcases we get. I haven't gotten the lands any yet. The lands. The I just throw in everything. Just who cares? Yeah. Just make a pile. We'll sort Rolling Vortex. I opened this one up in the previous pack. And kind of cool cyborg card. Ooh, uh, there, there, there's your showcase. showcase. See if we get any showcases. Land falls back, huh? Whenever land is back from your control, it gets plus 2, plus 2. Ooh, that's not bad. Bring it back plus 2, plus 2 in this one? So, Man, I should really look at the spoilers. <laughs> there's a forest, and we've got a first showcase. It's a landfall one. Um, whenever land enters the battlefield, you can choose one. Create a 2-2 two -two cat beast creature token, or put a 1-1 one -one counter on each creature you control and those gain vigilance. That's not oh, bad. That's four mana. It's yeah, four it. mana for an enchantment, though, so it's kind of harder to bad. get rid of. And a flip land, some other guys, any other showcases, nothing else to note of. That's kind of cool. There's a cat. There's your cat that goes to your cat. Kitty. And we have the Wayward Guide Beast. Trample haste whenever a guide deals, deals combat damage to player. Return a land from you. You can return a land you control to its owner's hand. Oh, it's a it's a oh, one mana two cool two. Too. And so it's gonna enable landfall. Kind of off. Or whoop, I'm 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 wandering off there to try to read it. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. A ton of spoilers. Yeah, we we should. Actually, look at these uncommons. 
I do like these. These new flip cards are so much better. At least we can use them for other things now. So, and Omnoth. There we go. That's so a that, that's sought a after cool card one. in both I mean, constructed and in um, when he enters the battlefield draw a card commander. that's not bad um whenever land enters the battlefield under your control you gain four life if this is the first time this ability resolved this turn um if it's the second time add his colors to the mana pool if it's the third time it deals four damage to each opponent oh so it only can happen three times that's oh, yeah, kind of three landfall triggers just, yeah good. but i guess that's per turn huh yeah one drop fine. into a swamp no it's this is the most most, like this is what everyone's building a commander right now. So. Yeah, he's pretty cool. It's not bad. I, I guess you the don't prices. need to do. What's worth money in this set? Um, the mythic, the, the commander cards are the only things worth money. It looks like. Oh, another foil rare. Oh, wow. That's two foil rares out of this box. The archpriest of Iona's, uh, archpriest of Iona, power is equal to the number of creatures in your party. Uh, so it's at least a one-two in the beginning of your combat on your turn. If you have a full party, target creatures plus one, plus one, and flying. Not a bad foil rare. And the Inscription of Abundance, so it kicks. Choose one. If the spell was kicked, choose any number uh, uh, instead. Put two counters on a creature. Target player gains X life for X is the greatest power among creatures. And target creature control fights another creature. So if you kick it for the, the mana, you can do It's very flexible, so fight for two is pretty good. Uh, the gaining life is situational, very situational. And the plus one, two plus ones on counters is, is good, too. Yeah. Neat little card. It's flexible. I think they're that's with this part of what I've noticed is, or with these last few sets, they've tried to make these more situational cards more versatile, which I think is a is a good change for Magic, uh, especially if these these ones are very interesting from this set with being able to uh, have the option of a land come to play tap land, or then ha actually have it do something like this one does. Choose a creature, you lose two life until in turn when that creature uh, that creature says, gains when you. When this creature dies, return it to the battlefield, tap it under control. So, slightly worse than one that already exists that does this. I want to say it's like something stamina, but the upside is having this be a land, and it makes like these these cards a lot easier to put in decks because of the either or uh, thing. Wow, there there's some of the prices. It pretty much looks like there's all the oh, really mythics. Omnoth is fifteen. Yeah, huh? Omnoth is only fifteen Lithophone bucks. Engine. Don't you know what that oh, does? Oh, our first foil land, and it's already curved. And then we've got got the yeah no. the, yeah the, yeah slightly. That's hilarious. Yeah, I know, I know, right? So we do have the trap finder. How cool is he? What else did you get, Kevin? I haven't opened a pack. Oh, you haven't opened a pack yet? I'm getting? I don't know. So, oh, I guess I didn't even read the card. Oh, well. I was looking at those prices. Yeah, hey, that neat, one's neat pretty. Lands. The Archon of Emeria. Each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. And non-basic lands. Oh, so a huge hate bear card. It's got both of them in one uh, card. Uh, non-basic non lands. Your opponent controls are tapped, and they can't cast more than one spell. Man, that's a mean card versus I like modern. that one that you just brought up. What, this one? Yeah, I think that one's Oh, really yeah, cool. it's either the... The mana dork, dork or, or land. land. Yeah. yeah, this one's this one's super good. This one, my favorite cards that I did look when I saw the set because it's it's perfect. What most of these most of these decks that want to curve into a uh, four. Uh, so the situation is if you need to curve into three, then you're gonna play this as a tap land first turn. If you're gonna try to curve into four, then you're gonna try to uh, hit your. And it's really with multiples too. Yeah. So you can go if you have multiple in your hands, put one in play tapped, and then turn two play this one, and then you don't need the second one. Oh, that's not bad. I like, ooh, we got another, another foil, foil that's rare. Three. That's three. That's not bad. And this is the, the shade. Um, he can't block, but um, if he was kicked, he comes in with two one one counters. So five mana for a five three. Um, but he has landfall. Whenever land enters the battlefield you in your control, yeah, you Jeez. can cast him with that's, that's not bad. Good. And our rare is. Um, landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you create a 1-1 one, one green insect uh, token. If you control six or more um, lands, create a token that's a copy of him instead. So you just kind of go exponentially with that yeah. once you get the lands for it. There's your Nothing insect else token cool. that came in my Ooh. pack. It's done that twice now. The Inscription of Insight. Kicker four. Choose one. If the spell is kicked, choose any number instead. Return up to two dark creatures to their owner's hand. Scry two, then, scry two, then draw two cards. Or target player creates an XX blue illusion creature token where X the number of cards in your hand. Wow, it's a lot of mana to throw bad. into it. But yeah, it's pretty versatile again. God, there we go. I don't know why that pack was hard to open, but it's all good. Just a regular 
foil on a foil common then we got the construct here it just has the kicker on him if the kicker was cast enters the battlefield with a 1-1 counter on it for each non-basic land your opponent's control so that's kind of cool for a commander um when he yeah. becomes the target of a spell or ability sacrifice it and create uh, a number of one one colorless construct artifact creatures equal to its power. So that that's not kind of too bad. Type yeah, without yeah, really pumping it Commander up. Yeah, so. it's gonna get huge. Yeah. Again. All right, we'll go to mine. We have the Mesa Lynx and the Seagate Stormcaller. So that's a mythic. Is that one worth anything? Mm, Seagate. Thirteen bucks. When go. Seagate Stormcaller enters the battlefield, copy the next insert sorcery spell with converted mana cost two or less. You cast this turn. So it's kind of like it's that's cool. So it wait you have to. And if you kick it, you copy that spell twice. Okay. okay. So this is kind of cool with like Snapcaster Mage Light. Yeah. Because you can just cast it and then cast a Lightning Bolt. Oh, yeah. So, it's yep. Not bad. It, will, it will. So, enters the battlefield, copy the next instant or sorcery spell. That's okay, cool. Okay, so you cast it right so. after. So weird. Red doesn't have flash or anything, but still is pretty cool. Ooh, one of the new arts. And I've got another showcase. Just a landfall. Um, gets plus two, plus two, which is not bad whatsoever for three mana to create a five, five each turn. Yeah, that's, for three mana and a land. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. oh it is a yeah. flip one. Yeah, oh, look flippy. at that. That one's way cool. Yeah, I like Sweet. those cards. Yeah, not It'll bad. It'll be interesting to play with them to see how, how they well they actually work. And another green one. So that's kind of cool. I haven't even been looking at my commas and comments. All right, so let's go to the Linvala. Linvala, at the beginning of the combat in your turn, if you have a full party, choose target on that permanent opponent controls. Until your next turn, it can't attack block, so it detains them. Yep, okay. Yeah. yeah. And then you can sacrifice it, choose hexproof or indestructible, because you control gain that ability. So it's got the selfless uh, yeah. spirit ability to it. That is pretty How sweet. How do you Angel like party, wizard. though? Because it requires one of every t one of those types hey, so they we're brought back cleric they brought back boobs on angels did they yeah. oh wow are you sure that's not a shelf what it's, it's so big out there it's like like a shelf look at that armor oh well what i don't know i mean it's, it's, i, I have no idea what whatever about. I got a look cool a wallet. This, this set is like wallet tech set, set, though. Every I know. Card Holy is a cow. I know. Look at this one. Um, whenever you cast a kicker spell, draw a card, then discard a card. When uh, he enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards of your library. You may fill a card with a kicker ability from among them. Put it onto the bottom of your library. Put the re or sorry, in put it into hand. your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. So that's not bad. That's nice. It's a great card. There, there's a lot of these. A lot of these cards that are spells into Another flip foil. lands. And that's just the duel. There's our first yeah, duel. First, yep. Wonk, wonk. So they're not bad. I mean, I think they work great for just any deck. Yeah. Too bad you oh, can't fetch fine. for them or anything, but still, they're, 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 they're good. And I threw it. I have got, we haven't seen this one yet, a squad commander. Um, when it enters the battlefield, create a 1 1 white knight or core warrior. I can't even talk today. Um, creature token for each creature in your party. For, wait. for each creature party, you create a 1 1. Okay. At so, the of your combat. But does that mean you can have your party? So you can have it to four. Okay, yeah. so you can only create up to four. Yes. That's what I was you're just, wondering. You're reading types, so. but then it. What does yeah, it do but on it this? says each creature in your party. You have on your turn. If you have a full party, they gain indestructible plus one plus zero. Huh. That, so that cool one's kind of a little. Well, you're gonna get a one weirdly. one no matter what. So. Yeah. All right, we have that's a cool island, little maelstrom going on, and we have the throne of Makinda, Makindi. So add one colorless, put a charge counter on it, and remove a charge counter to add two mana of any one color. So these these lands existed before. They were I can't remember they're the storage lands, but they were oh, so yeah. slow. So this one's like trying to get you, you get a charge counter and then you can start removing charge counter to get two mana. So it's actually going to ramp you up that turn rather than just yeah. fix. That's pretty sweet. That's really sweet actually. That's not bad. That's not bad for it. So I have that card. Especially you can like keep Plur for proliferating onto it when it has one. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's, it's, it's it's and bum bum bum. You can really ramp yourself up. Oh, there's our core warrior. Your God, cannot get these open. But alrighty, so sacrifice X lands. For each land sacrifice this way, draw a card. You may play X additional lands this turn. Um 
Lands you control enter the battlefield tap this turn. So that's so wait not a too bad. So Sacrifice says for each land, Sacrifice will be a draw a card you may play. So it's, it's trying to be a scape shift. Shift, yeah. In a way. So, that's kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, that, that's not bad at all. Man, I should really so. look at these. It's making me want to play Magic again. Hey, it looks like I got the, got the most expensive card and I don't even know what it does. So Lithoform Engine. Two and tap, you copy target activator triggered ability. You may choose new targets for the copy. Three is copy target instant resources spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. And four is copy target permanent spell you control. So it's just copying everything. So this is actually a sweet card. Good thing Paradox Engine's out of the format because this go bonkers with Paradox Engine. Yeah. But it still can go bonkers with many other stuff by copying activated and triggered abilities. Yeah, it doesn't even say it doesn't have to be a mana ability either. Nah. So you can copy crazy mana abilities. Be Gotta be cool. a lot of infinites with this. Probably what's worth nah, so much. That's pretty cool. No Planeswalkers yet, though. But even though, the Planeswalkers aren't worth that much. So, but let's see what we get right off. Oh, we've got one of the Mythic Lands. So it deals X damage divided... Um, Divided as you choose among up to two target creatures and or planeswalkers. If X is six or more, it deals twice as much damage. So that's kind of cool. I mean, get you a, a way late game. You've got a good spell in your hand or early game. You've got you a, a mountain to play. All righty. So this is the, the Gosh, dual land the for the, ones. the green and red. Right. Cool. And then... I don't know, maybe Anything we should be fanning cool. these out and looking at comments, could. but I don't want this video to be nine, nine years. years. I know what you mean. Just something opening, something fun, see what's coming. All right, another wall of text. Did we already have this one? No, we didn't. No, it's a black so version. So it's the, the black so sorcery kicker. For each one. Yep. Um, so, yep, choose any. Um, and it target opponent discards two cards, or there is return target creature card with current mana cost, two or less from the graveyard to the battlefield for three. Uh, let's see here and then destroy target creature with converted mana cost three or less uh, for three mana it's it's, it's okay. way flexible so it's, yeah. a, it's a mind rot it's so, a i can't remember with a smother yeah it's a smother a mind rot and a, and, and a, so and, a, and and whatever that other claim to fame card is yeah it's One not day. bad anything else Earth. cool That's what it's called. oh here's your cleric card though i was looking at that whenever another cleric enters the battlefield you may gain one life whenever you gain life for the first time each turn put a one one counter on him so yeah, that's not bad on him on him yep it says him uh, on target oh sorry target no on on, 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 on cleric count. but why is it a him cleric. zach What's that? Why'd you say it was a him? Because I don't see any breasts. Oh, and I'm sick of your bigotry. there is, I know, I'm horrible. All right, so let's go on to are some of these lands reprinted. No, that one's new. Some of the them Marasa are. Marasa Sproutling foil and a carry Fearless Voyager. Ooh. Whenever you attack a player with one or more equipped creatures, draw a card. And you may unattach the equipment from a creature control if you do tap that creature and it gains it in a struggle. It's a way to protect your. Your creatures. That's kind of cool. Yep. Another one of those. And I think we got rid of all... We've got our angel here. So when she enters the battlefield, you may reveal a card you own named her from outside the game and put it into your hand. So you can put them in the sideboard, I guess. Just go get some angels for pretty cheap. That's kind of cool. No other showcases. So we have another highborn. And the Luminarch Aspirant, beginning to comment on your turn, put a plus one counter on target creature control. So it's two mana. Um, it immediately is just a bear because you can put it on itself. So yeah, on target creature, so it can't hit itself. Awesome. Oh, that's and then it bad. just gets bigger and bigger each turn or, or makes something else bigger and bigger. It's pretty solid. Yeah, that's not a bad card. Pretty solid. For two mana. Yeah, I know, they need to make white better anyways because white's oh, been kind of sad lately, lately. Ooh, that's a cool copy. So, oh, this is just a copy. This token represents... All righty, that's not bad. I guess we got a token that yeah, those, represents those whatever in, now. They made them double masters. So oh, did those they? were actually oh, worth okay. money from double masters. Okay, so um, when this enters the battlefield, exile up to one target non land, non token permanent you can tr you your don't control, control yeah. um, with converting that cost four or less. Um, when it leaves the battlefield, um, the exile car. Uh, the owner of the exile car creates an illusion that was that converted illusion. mana cost. Oh, that's kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, it's pretty so. sweet. So people so. are thinking it's going to make. Um, like some vile decks work, some taxes decks work in modern. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's, then. it's it, like you're always trading up. Whatever you're killing is gonna be worse than that illusion. Yeah. And then they still have to kill your thing. And if you're like flickering stuff, it's still pretty good. So, so if you actually flicker it, I believe oh, it's a dusty non-token, so you can actually get yeah. rid of the token. That, yeah, it doesn't work the way I thought it would, but so. it's still pretty neat. All right, so we have another planes and the shadow. 
The Shadow's Verdict. Exile all creatures and planeswalkers with converted mana cost three or less from the battlefield. And all creatures and planeswalker cards with converted mana cost three or less from all graveyards. So it goes on curve. Not going to hit like Questing Beast. That's going to be a yeah. problem with this. It's not going to hit a Wrinkle. A few other cards I can think of that might be good in the format uh, going forward. But this would have been yeah, that amazing. That sucks in Commander. Ma or... Well, no. I mean, it's not yeah, Commander. It's yeah, way better stuff. True. But in Standard, like if Witch's Oven still existed, this would have been really good against uh, mm -hmm. uh, that deck. All right. Now we've got a... Oh, here's our other Commander. Gosh, she costs six mana for a 4-4. Four, four. One less for each card in your party. Yeah, yeah, one less for each card in your party. Does have flying, death touch, and haste. Other creatures you control have death touch. That's kind of cool. Whenever a creature you control it deals combat damage to a planeswalker, destroy that planeswalker. That card's awesome. So There's that so is many pingers pretty freaking in red cool. That yeah, that can just do, 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 just start killing everything off with Goblin yeah. Sharpshooter or whatever his name is. So, yeah, there's plenty. All of right, them. a few more packs left. Lotus Cobra. Cobra. That's a good pull. Yep. Everyone knows what that does. Yep. Good to see in standard again, and I finally got my first one. Whoa, I think Except we're only one away, right? Yep, that's no, they had a lot. There's did more than they? five. Is I there believe. really? I can't remember which pairings they decided not to. We haven't got a full art card yet. Oh, we did. You got one of the lands that was full art, right? I can't remember. So, oh, well. watch the video and see. Oh, Ooh, there we go. Talking four about foiled it. rares. So there we a, go. Yeah, it's a foil land. So, oh, and the, it's, no, it's so the Demir type. That one's actually pretty sweet because yeah. I think it's a color combination that would that loves, yeah, would love that. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like a first turn choose. after, a first turn thought sees your choice. Yeah, and the Forsaken well, Monument. Second turn. Whoa. Oh so, no, that, those ones don't come into play. Tap, so do they? colorless creatures you can get plus two plus two. Whenever you tap a permanent, add a, 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 a colorless. Uh, whenever you tap a permanent for a colorless, add an additional one. So this is the one so that goes infinite cool. with like basalt monolith. Yeah, actually. that's pretty cool. Or close to infinite. No, I believe it does. I think it does go infinite. Four, no, I because I think I think I think I think it equals out to be an infinite after so many times because it's three and two to untap. It's four to untap, three to tap, right? I think it's three to untap, and it makes four. I can't remember. Some of the comment section, no, we don't play commander. I wonder if you cast a color spell, you gain two life. That's not bad. That's pretty cool. All right, got us a cat beast token, a plains, and master of the winds. Um, a Sphinx 4, a 1 4. Flying, whenever Master of the Winds enters the battlefield, draw two cards, then discard a card. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery or wizard spell, you may have Master of the Winds switch its switch power. Its power toughness, yeah. huh? Interesting. Four, four, one, so, one, I, I don't know. I, I, well, I think I just. Two, yeah, two. yeah mm -hmm. it, it, it's not bad. So, yeah, it's that's kind of cool. Yeah. Kind of filler. All right. Our so, we one. have the Crawling Barons. This is a. Just call, add for colors and put two plus one counters on crawling baron, uh, barons. Then you may have it become a zero zero elemental. So it keeps getting bigger and bigger. That's pretty good. Just four mana for a two two, and then and it's four mana for a four four, and then so on and so forth. That's pretty pretty sweet card. Pretty sweet card. So now we got on to the box topper. Each one of these boxes will have a box topper. All right, pull it out, Kevin. This is what we saw with Ikoria, and this is. From the list? No, what's this from? No, this that, is like... that is the expedition. And Black League we got Black League That's Quiz. a good one. That's not bad yep. at all. So that's pretty too. Wow, that is cool. They, they've got some interesting map yeah, finish. Why don't we show it? Almost it on looks the, like grooves. The, the, the camera. Give it a. There we go. That is and, sweet. And kind of hold it back and forth, so they do kind of shimmer on the sides yeah. on the ink. So yeah. that that's interesting, but. The art almost looks like they missed a printing on it, though. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind this of, one is dark. Yeah. I don't know if they're all going to be like that, but or, they're, it's cloudy. Yeah. So it's, it almost looks it, like it, if you have it in, in a in, in a cloudy, mass sleeve yeah, sleeve. or something like that. So it, it doesn't, you know. Pop. Well, that's still pretty cool, though. They, they're probably trying to make those pop. That's what it's yeah, all about. That's I bet it's done exactly on purpose. What it is, so. so these do come in a foil version too. And those are only only in the from collectors. the collector's edition. Yep. But you can't get everything else as normal, which. Yep. Yep, so that's still not bad. Yeah, Just that's a good, more good pull. There, so. Should sell the boxes if you're interested in the boxes too. We do we will have some of the buy box boxes available at our pre release this weekend. Yes, we so come will. down so. to Gone Rogue Games and, and play in the pre release and buy a box. All right, well, this has been Zach and Kevin. Thanks for watching.